so there was supposed to be this little hyper excited intro of myself just screaming out top 10 death battle suggestions blah 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 but after recording it for about like 10 or so minutes i kind of realized that that's not my whole thing like at all so i would just rather go at my own pace and do this on my own terms on my own way so uh today i have a, a little video a little video of uh, me making uh, basically 10 suggestions for season 11 of death battle and uh yeah let's just get into it i suppose but before we do I would like to ask you guys to like, comment, and subscribe because uh, it helps out my channel, makes me mo more motivated to make some videos, and uh, you know, just uh, just a good thing. So uh, yeah, let's get into this. Number ten. Okay, Trailblazer versus the Traveler, Honkai Star Rail versus Genshin Impact, and I'll be straight with you guys. I just want to see the fighting that's gonna happen after this episode. This is the only reason, even though I like Star Rail a lot, I'll admit this is the only reason I really want to see this episode because at the moment, there is a lot of infighting between the two games because they're made from the same company and, uh, you know, Star Rail is better. So Genshin Impact uh, players are getting really mad, so I want to see what would happen if on top of that, you know, there would be the step battle where, um, in my opinion, Star Rail would probably win, because uh, even though Genshin is potentially more powerful, I feel like Star Rail has done a better job with like portraying its character strength. So uh, I think it would be a really interesting fight. Uh, there's not too many abilities, like interesting abilities that they, they could have, but I feel like they could come up with something. Probably not a very high, you know, high profile fight, but one that would probably give them a lot of attention. So uh, it would be pretty interesting to see. Let's get to the next one. Mega Man X vs Gunvolt, Mega Man vs Azure Striker Gunvolt. This one is uh, pretty self-explanatory, I don't think I really have to, you know, sit here and mince meat so to speak, and explain why this just makes sense, especially if, um, you know, you're just a fan of both series. Uh, but uh, I guess not everyone is, Gunvolt is uh, also a same type of like, you know, run and gun shooter platformer like Mega Man X, they have similar personalities, they look pretty similar. They're both, you know, like, heroic people that, you know, save a dystopian future. It's pretty, pretty similar stuff. I thought that the whole death battle, you know, ballot was kind of weird with putting Mega Man against Optimus Prime. That was kind of interesting. But, you know, I didn't really feel that matchup, so I made this one instead. It, it, you know, it doesn't matter that it's inspired, but it's just like, it's, it's what I want to see. Uh... But yeah, it would be interesting to see Mega Man different powers go against like Gunvolt's special moves and shot types. It would be pretty cool, I think. Could also be another 2D fight, which would be a lot easier for them to animate. So uh, yeah, that's another fight. Okay, if the list wasn't already weird as hell so far, it's about, it's only about to get weirder, okay? Next fight that I have in my list is uh, E1 to 3 Omega versus Blade Wolf, Sonic versus Metal Gear. Okay, for those of you who do not know either of these franchises, what the hell, like what is this matchup, what is going on, uh, essentially both of these characters, if, uh, obviously if you know both of the series, both of these characters are robots who were created by someone to serve a purpose, like an evil purpose, who ultimately end up rebelling against their masters and going like on a heroic path, so to speak. Well, I mean, with Blade Wolf, you kind of had to be reprogrammed, you know, and everything, but still. Uh, yeah, they're like sentient robots so with a lot of firepower and... Uh, you know, it would just be cool to see them fight, in my opinion. Especially with, like, Omega's giant arsenal and, like, how brutal Blade Wolf is. 
it would be really interesting to see what they would do with it. I don't really have any ideas of my own. I, I imagine it would be like a 3D fight, but yeah, it would be pretty, pretty interesting. And you could even see like the fight writing itself, essentially, where, you know, like maybe Omega confuses Blade Wolf for like one of Eggman's robots. It just like tries to destroy it. Oh, and also obviously, by the way, in my opinion, I, I'm assuming that Omega would probably win like easily just because he's able to like, well, it's, it's in statements, but it's kind of implied that he's able to keep up with Shadow. So, you know, for that reason alone, it probably already means that Omega just like blows Blade Wolf out of the water. But, you know, it's fine. I feel like the personality of both of these characters uh, would like carry the fight itself. So it'll still be pretty entertaining. But yeah, that's it. Seven. This next one is uh, a little bit generic, I guess some people could say, because, uh, you know, it's one of those DC versus Marvel fights. And uh, I have Red Hood versus The Punisher. And uh, you might instantly ask if you've watched Death Battle before. Uh, well, Animaniac, Nick, wasn't Red Hood already in a Death Battle? Well, first of all, they can have rematches that's already established. And uh, second of all, yeah, I understand that he was already in a fight somewhat recently, but man, I, I just feel like the entirety of the Batman universe has been done kind of dirty, to be quite honest with you guys. So, uh, and especially I uh, like, I love Jason Todd, Red Hood, so I would love for him to come back and like, kind of like redeem him, like himself. I would like to like also have Batman at some point come back and actually win a fight, like a good fight. But this one, this matchup, Red Hood versus The Punisher, makes a lot of sense to me. Obviously, like, I kind of partially picked it because I imagined that Red Hood would win. Because, you know, he's a lot more trained, he's a lot better. I feel like he, he should have even won against the Winter Soldier, but, you know, that's besides the point. Uh, but, yeah. It would be a pretty entertaining fight, probably would be a 2D one. Uh... And uh, yeah, I just like Batman, so I, I'd like to see another Batman fight. That's pretty much all there is to it. Number six. Okay, the next one is painfully simple. It's Kratos versus Asura, God of War versus Asura's Wrath. I mean, come on. Like, do you guys not want to see that? Like, that's one of those fights that's just like, it makes so much sense. And I imagine it, they'll probably even do it, like, actually do it because this is a fight that I, uh, well, okay, I didn't get it from the ballot, from the ballot that happened last season, but. I also kept thinking about it in my own like head before it even got announced or like any possibility of it happening and uh, they're both like super powerful demigods who have a lot of a lot of like crazy powers and they could go toe to toe with the, each other you know and I imagine there would be a lot of destruction and the, the fight would probably be in 3D and it would just be very entertaining. Uh, I haven't felt the need to really discuss in a lot of these fights who would actually win but in this one I feel like on the surface level you'd say that Asura would probably win but I just heard that a lot of uh, like Kratos has a lot of um, interesting feats let's just say that put him like very high on the power scaling tier list so, so to speak but I feel like it's a perfect opportunity for Death Battle to, like, once again, especially since God of War is so popular right now, to, like, make Kratos lose <laughs> so that people will get upset. So that would be kind of interesting. <laughs> but, 
But uh, yeah, it would probably just be a really flashy fight, and I imagine a lot of people would enjoy it regardless. So, you know, it's a pretty good fight, Quaggus vs. Sasura. Five. Okay, so so far, I haven't really felt the need to. Like, the fights were obviously numbered, you know, like number 10, number 9, number 8, but honestly, all of those were kind of interchangeable with each other. Like, I would, you know, I'm, I'd gladly take any of those fights. But the, this top 5 specifically is um, fights that I would really like to have at some point of the you know like death battle history and uh number five is another one that i took from the ballot admittedly but it's one that i also like actually want because i'm a like a big fan of uh one of the movies that's involved in the, with this and it's uh guru versus megamind so despicable me versus megamind i used to love megamind there's not really i guess m much to talk about here it's just like it's a single movie but it was a really good one. I remember watching it a lot. And, uh, you know, for the time, before Minions, before everything, Gru was also pretty cool with, like, Despicable Me. And uh, it's just, like, a classic, I suppose, matchup of, like, the same studio, like, of characters going against each other. And surprisingly, they're both pretty similar in the sense that, like, they're super villains who were turned good. So it would just be interesting to see their like gadgets and gizmos like go against each other uh i imagine this fight would probably be either like a 2d one or no 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 wait like a 2d animate that's what i meant i'm sorry like a 2d anim animation fight or a 3d one and they would probably just go absolutely insane there's not really much else to add to it because i mean they're interesting characters but it's kind of like straightforward it's basically like if Lex Luthor fought Lex Luthor, you know what I mean? It's interesting, it's definitely interesting. It's more so, for me again, because you know of the characters, because I like the characters, that's why I want to see them fight. But it would definitely still also be pretty visually entertaining, let's just say. Number four. All right, this next one is a little bit abstract because I don't really know how Death Battle would even do this fight, like go about making it or scaling the characters. But it's Flowey versus Monica. It's Undertale versus uh, DDLC for short because uh, I can't say it because it's my tongue gets twisted. It's a little bit hard, uh, but. It's definitely interesting. First of all, I'm pretty sure it would be the first time an Undertale character would even be on Death Battle, as well as, you know, a Doki Doki character. Uh, again, they're both, like, reality-bending manipulator people, and they both kind of, like, break the fourth wall and j just, you know, like, talk to the player directly, and it's kind of, like, weird, zany stuff. And I have no idea how they would go about it, because, like... Well, spoilers for Undertale, I suppose. Flowey could technically maybe kill Monica, or at least like at least keep her stuck in a cycle. But at the same time, Monica could just stalemate him because, or like not even stalemate him, just like wipe him out instantly because she can just like delete his files, right? Actually, as a matter of fact, now that I think about it, that's probably what would happen. Uh. But I would like to see a fight on the level of like Bill Cypher versus Discord. I feel like this would be definitely a really interesting fight. They would probably have to get really creative with uh, what Monica can do because she doesn't really fight in Doki Doki. You just kind of like talk to her. But 
it's a uh, it's a fight that I feel like uh, the community would appreciate, especially because of how like popular both of the games are. But uh, yeah, Flyer versus Monica, top top four, <laughs> would be an interesting fight. Number three. All right, we're gonna kick off our top three with um, one of my favorite series going up against one of my least favorite series, which is um, it's Nero versus Yang, Del Mikai versus Ruby. Um, I absolutely adore and love Del Mikai, and admittedly, a part of the reason why I even want to see this fight is uh, you know because I want to see. Nero absolutely destroy Yang because, you know, her win against Tifa was also kind of undeserved, that was kind of stupid. Uh, but, I feel I feel like, if they just give both characters like a fair chance in, like, in terms of like, animating them and like, have it like be an entertaining fight, it would probably be pretty cool as well, even though, you know, again, I dislike Ruby. But, uh, even their personalities and like, their backstories, I suppose, quote unquote, are kind of similar too in the sense that you know like they're both super hot-headed uh they both like value family they both um lost their limbs to an evil person with uh with a sword that uses the ido uh <laughs> if you think about it there's a lot of weird similarities uh yeah sure they don't really fight similarly especially i mean because you know nira has so many moves and stuff and uh, again, it would be probably really unfair, but I feel like the writing could probably save it. And uh, I don't know if they would let Nero win right now. I feel like in my head this fight makes a lot of sense, but just because, uh, you know, like it's Ruby, they probably want to have the characters from Ruby actually win because they're part of Rooster Teeth. Uh, but yeah, essentially it's a pipe dream death battle, probably once Ruby ends. They might do this one because it makes way too much sense. But uh, yeah, Nero versus Yang, it's uh, theoretically a pretty cool fight, so I cannot wait for them to maybe do this one. Number two, we're getting closer and closer to the end of this list. And now I have something truly despicable, absolutely ridiculous. A, a suggestion that would never happen most likely, but one that I'm very much looking forward to. Like the potential of it, right? I'm not even sure how to describe this because it's not a very conventional death battle, let's just say. So the idea that I have for this episode is um, a battle royale battle royale. Um, <laughs> so what do I mean by that? Well, let's just start with this. Essentially, I would like to have Fortnite characters against Apex characters against PUBG characters against so on and so forth. Like whatever, like top four, top five, however many, you know, battle royale games you want to come up with to have in this theoretical fight. Uh, just have them be in the same death battle. They all like essentially like, drop from whatever and like the whole fight is just like one giant like it would definitely be like a, Just an animation for fun essentially type of thing. Uh, I still imagine that Fortnite like regardless of what you put it against will probably win just because of like how wacky and zany a lot of the weapons and uh, You know like vehicles and stuff are in that game like all the UFOs and like sticky grenades 
uh, boogie bombs, you know, like all the classic cool stuff. Uh, and like obviously, you know, like all the Fortnite characters pick up their own weapons and like Apex characters have their, their own weapons and so on and so forth. It would just be a really fun fight to watch. And uh, I know that I think only Fortnite and Apex really have their own characters. Well, I mean, I know Fortnite definitely has their own characters, but Apex, I'm pretty sure it does that too. But like with uh, a lot of other Battle Royale ga games, like, I suppose it would be kind of hard. But they just like could be filler for the fight essentially. But I feel like it would be a like a really interesting matchup to just watch, like an entertaining one, right? Not really much of a point to it, I suppose. It's just again, as I said so many times already, it's just a fight for fun, and I really like those kind of fights. So, uh, yeah, battle royale, battle royale. That sounds pretty funny. Let's do it. Number one. All right, listen, listen here, dear viewer. Everything before this point was child's play, okay? We're finally at number one, and the number one fight that I won from Death Battle is, I don't wanna say either of these characters are necessarily my two favorite characters ever, but one comes from a franchise that is very near and dear to my heart. Like, even though I got into it relatively recently into it. And uh, the other one is um, just a character that I really, really enjoy, let's just say. It's uh, Demi Fiend versus Spawn. Yes, Shin Megami Tensei versus Image Comics. Okay, what the hell is even going on here? Well, let's just start with the fact that both of these characters are relatively normal people right demi fiend just being like a like a guy and uh spawn being like a you know like a soldier who, and both of them get turned into these like demonic creatures with like extremely overpowered superpowers and uh you know they work for their evil overlords whatever but then they like kind of like rebel or like do their own thing and become like uh, good people well with spawn it's definitely that but with Demi Fiend, I suppose you can like kind of take your own path, whatever you want to do in SMT3. And I, I, I'm just like, whenever I think about this fight in my head, it's just pure awesomeness. <laughs> and I don't really know how else to describe it. Like, they could do so much with Demi Fiend's like demon summoning alone. They could have like Jack Frost's or like Yoshitsune's or whatever else gets summoned and like do their cool insane moves and uh, basically like that's another reason why I feel like this would be a cool matchup because Spawn uh, would get to show off a lot of his powers and like actually kill some stuff like show off how badass he is because uh, at the end of the day I feel like uh, well just because of how insanely overpowered the Shin Megami Tensei universe is in the first place I feel like Spawn stands just like no chance against the Demi Fiend unfortunately but with the demon summoning he could actually get a lot of the hits in and like show off his again badassery but you know Demi Fiend's no slouch himself he has a lot of like Gaia moves and like like laser shots and like there's a lot of cool shit that he can do and I feel like if they put like a 3d animation to it and a lot of like heart and passion into it this could be one of the best episodes of death battle history to be honest like again this is not even like, I'm not putting just two of my favorite characters against each other for the sake of it, because again, like, there's superheroes I like more than Spawn, there's, you know, video game characters I like more than Demi Fiend, but this fight just oozes potential, and I would really like to see it be, like, realized in an actual death battle. And on a side note, I feel like the soundtrack for this fight would go so incredibly hard. I haven't really talked about soundtrack potential for any of the fights, Previously, I probably should have talked about it with uh, Nero versus Yang, but this one especially so. It could be like, like if you have if you've never heard 
uh, an SMT track before in your life, just look up any of the battle themes from uh, SMT3, or honestly even SMT5, like any of them. Just look up any of them. Uh, they're incredible. <laughs> and this fight could go incredibly hard. Again, I have said that so many times. And uh, especially one thing that I really want to see them do, it's very minor, very stupid. I, I don't know why I'm even, even talking about this. But in the game, in SMT3, when you get really low on your HP with Demi Fiend, his, uh, all of his tattoos start gl glowing red. And I want to see that in the, in the actual fight, because obviously in the animation, they're not going to, you know, like make it obvious who's winning, who's losing. They're going to like just kind of save it for the end for like the finishing blow. Uh, but I want to see that happen, even though Demifiend, again, he probably stomps spawn completely. There's, like, no chance. But animation is entirely different thing, so... Yeah, I feel like Demifiend versus spawn would be incredibly insane. Uh, but honestly, although... Just... Just because it's, uh, you know, number one, on a side note, I want to say that... Something like spawn versus the Doom Slayer, or spawn... Or then, uh, Demifiend versus, uh, versus the Doom Slayer as well... Could probably work, too. But I just like the idea of Demifiend versus Spawn a little bit more because they, you know, like, they work for the devil, essentially, both of them, but then they, like, decide their own destiny. Yeah, that, uh, that was the entirety of my top 10 list. Please tell me in the comments what you thought about it. Give me your own top 10 list. Give me your thoughts on like how you would change this. Like what would you want to see out of any of the fights that I listed in this list. Uh, I'm start starting to repeat myself. Starting to, you know, say bullshit. So let's just wrap this up. Thank you for watching. Please, you know, go check out Death Battle because I'm kind of like a little bit leeching off of their content. But... Uh, yeah, thank you for watching and uh, I'll hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.